to my channel. Today I am doing my next Riverdale series tutorial, Cheryl. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Can you sort of feel it? I'm not gonna lie, I have no features like her. I don't have the red hair. It's definitely not long. It's super short and it's really hard to do someone's look that you look really nothing <laughs> like. But um, I wanted to do this look because I love Cheryl's look. I feel like we are kind of like this when it comes to porcelain skin just being see-through and super, super pale. But other than that, we don't really have a lot in common. But I did want to give this look to you guys and just keep up with this Riverdale series. I don't know why I'm talking. It's a, like it's a struggle tonight to talk. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I must be super tired. So this is my Cheryl look. I really tried to also find like an outfit that I felt like she would wear and I actually like don't feel like she would wear something like this at all but it's it's sort of red. So I kind of wanted to make it work. <laughs> it didn't work. If this helps you at all to, you know, maybe copycat her, I hope this look helps. So go ahead and watch it now. <laughs> okay guys, so like usual, I am gonna start with my eyes. I'm just taking my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I'm going to rub this into the entire dome of my eye as well as up to my brow. And then I'm taking my Huda, Huda Beauty <laughs> Desert Dusk Palette. I'm going in with this burnt, it's like an orangish brown. And what I love about Cheryl's makeup is the eyes are definitely dramatic um, along with the lips. So she puts the best of both worlds like together and she puts dramatic eyes with dramatic lips and she rocks it. So I'm just taking this fluffy crease brush and I'm first patting the color on to get that concentration right in that area on the outer corner of the eye. And then I'm going to blend upwards and over just a little bit. I don't want to bring the color too far into the inner corner of the eye. I want it to really be concentrated on the outer corner. Now I'm going in with this darker chocolate brown. And again, I'm just working that into the outer corner of the eye. I've taken a really skinny um, crease brush and I'm working this into the indent of my eye. So where your crease is, I am just really focusing on pressing that into the crease. It's not a cut crease at all, but I'm really focusing it on the crease instead of blending. So now I'm switching palettes and I'm using the Balm um, Voyage palette. I'm going to take the black glittery color that they have in this palette. I'm going to work it at the very bottom, almost near my lash line. I'm just going to blend that along that area. I'm not going to work it too far up into the crease. I really want this to be concentrated near the lower part of my eye. I'm going to be doing a lot of padding motions with this and very little blending. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix this pink eyeshadow with this goldy eyeshadow and basically this is just going to look really super matte. It doesn't have a lot of shimmer in it. One thing that I have noticed about Cheryl's look, she doesn't wear a lot of shimmers or glitters or anything like that. She keeps it pretty matte. So I wanted just a little bit of a hint of gold but basically I'm going to keep it super matte on the dome of my eye. So I'm just going to start at the inner corner of my eye and work my way out to the crease. Careful not to get too much into the crease work you just did. So now I'm just taking this crease brush and it's completely clean. It doesn't have any product on it. And I'm going to go right over the crease that work that we just did and make sure that everything is blended upwards and out. Because she always has like a pretty... Um, her shadow goes pretty far out, if you haven't noticed. So she has she has a lot going on on her eyes. <laughs> 
So if you've noticed, Cheryl doesn't really have any undertones to her skin. She is quite literally just very pale. <laughs> and it's beautiful. And I'm so jealous because I have a lot of red undertone and discoloration on, especially under my eyes. So what I'm going to do to start this look is take this e.l.f. Correct the Red color correcting stick and just kind of put this wherever I see redness on my face. So I'm actually going to be using concealer for my entire face. This is going to help with getting that perfect even skin tone. I'm going to apply it under my eyes and work it all over my face and blend it into my neck. As you can see, it's pretty pale and it's even noticeable that it's not the right color on me. So I'm blending that into my neck and everything to just get that flawless look. I am really in love with this beauty blender from Morphe. It has the two flat ends and then it has the round end at the bottom so you can really use all ends and it will give you a perfect application. Now I'm going to take this highlight color from my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I'm going to put that right under my eyes and my chin, anywhere where I want to put a little bit of setting powder to help with creasing but also to brighten up the look in those certain areas. For contouring, I'm going to use the slightest hand to apply. I don't want it to have so much color that it takes over the look, but a little is going to help bring some dimension to the face. I just don't want it to take over the entire look. Cheryl kind of rocks that cold stone look, so I want to look as icicle as I can. <laughs> okay, so this is where it gets kind of messy. I had two blush colors in mind, and I went with the more purple undertoned color, and when I first applied it, I really did not love it. I thought to myself, oh wow, that's really, really showing up. This is a big mistake. But after going back in with my beauty blender and um, using some of the leftover concealer that was already on that blender, it helped to blend the look. And I actually think it fits Cheryl pretty perfectly. And for the highlight, I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlighter and gently applying just above the cheekbones. Um, I don't want it to be too glittery or shimmery. Again, we want to stay away from too much sparkle. She's definitely a matte girl, so just use a highlighter that is very subtle. All right, so we're going to go back to the eyes now. I'm going to take this Golden Bronze Eyeliner Pencil and follow my lash line. I don't want a waterline today, um, but I do want to add some more dimension to the eyes. And just taking the sponge end of my eyeliner uh, pencil, I'm just going to blend out that color. I'm taking this black liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to gently line the top of my eye just doing little strokes and I, one thing also about Cheryl is she doesn't have a huge wing but she does have a very subtle one so I'm just going to draw that a little bit and we are going to do false lashes today so don't worry about being too perfect on this eyeliner just make sure that you have it all the way across the eye with the subtle wing. I have no idea why, but I'm struggling with explaining this look today. I don't know what's going on with me. Please forgive me for not doing the best job I could. Okay, so next we're moving on to the brows. So I think I, not gonna lie, I don't think I matched her brows perfectly. I went to Target and I got an auburn colored brow, um, 
brow pen, which is also dual because it has the mascara side of it, which is super cool. But it's auburn, and I realized that Cheryl's eyebrows are a little bit more taupe. They're not really straight up red. So I feel like these brows are a little bit more like Archie's brows than like Cheryl's. So forgive me on that. But one thing you are going to want to do is with your brows, whether you take it this auburn color or you do a taupe color, you want them to be more rounded. She doesn't have very squared brows. So they're lengthy, but they are not thick and they're not squared. So I'm just working my brush upwards and then floating it over. I don't know why I said the word floating, but you get what I'm saying. And then after I have the, I'm just gonna take my eyebrow brush and brush them out. Any excess product will come off with this. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and kind of blend out any harsh lines that don't need to be there and take out a little bit more of the product because I really don't want it to look super, super red or too thick. All right, so we're moving on to the false lashes. So I was originally planning on using these e.l.f. lashes because they looked pretty close to the ones that I feel like Cheryl probably wears. However, as you're witnessing, oh my gosh, I lost the other lash. I like straight up lost the other lash. Now I'm going to use these lashes that I actually got on Wish.com. They are not um, exactly what I was hoping. They're a little bit more spidery. <laughs> that doesn't sound good, but they're a little bit more spidery. Um, but they still, they still get the job done. So what I'm gonna do is just apply the glue, bend them in towards each other before I put them on to get the shape of your eye. Then I'm gonna apply it and with my um, eyebrow brush, which I don't know why I used that because it actually kind of poked me in the eyes. But, <laughs> but I'm going to press that into my eye so that it sticks. I'm gonna go back in with my liquid eyeliner and just make sure that this is where I perfect the liner um, on top of the lashes. You don't want the liner to be too thick, just keep that in mind. I'm gonna brush the mascara upwards initially, but then I'm actually going to brush them down because I don't want them to overtake the eyeshadow. So I want them to be a little bit more straight out instead of up. All right, so I'm just gonna take this red lip liner and we are gonna start lining the lips. I did exfoliate my lips to really help get that smooth surface. This can really help when you wanna fill your lips with an, a lip liner especially because that can already dry out your lips. So I know with winter, I mean my skin is just suffering, but with exfoliating, it has really helped my skin and my lips to just look clearer and be smoother. So my lips are red now, but uh, I really want to build them because um, Cheryl, Cheryl has really full lips and she actually doesn't have much of a Cupid's bow. Her like Cupid's bow is rounded, which is really hard to pull off and I don't know if it's like I just don't like how I look with a rounded Cupid's bow because it's not me or if I'm not doing it correctly, but we're just gonna try and do that today. Um, just overfilling our lips a little bit. Um, I mean, this is my natural lips here, but we're gonna take it to the extreme because that is Cheryl.
Okay, guys, that was the tutorial. I hope that it was helpful and got you into Riverdale's just spirit because we are getting back into it. Uh, I've actually missed the past two episodes, which means that I am super behind and I feel like a lot has happened that I'm not a part of. I feel like I'm not a part of it and it's making me sad. So I gotta get on that, but I hope that this tutorial was at least fun for you to watch and let me know what you think below. Subscribe to my channel and then click that little bell thing and that will give you notifications when I post. Well guys, I will see you next week. Hope you had a blast. <laughs> what am I doing? Is it Hey guys, I am sorry for the crazy that I look right now, but I just got back from the gym. I'm getting ready for bed. And I look down, and this is the missing lash that I was looking for during the tutorial for Cheryl. It was on the back of a palette. When I was cleaning up, found it. I, I looked under each palette. So literally I'm I'm going I'm going crazy because like I look crazy and I feel crazy. These are the lashes I wanted to use and I had to switch it up because I couldn't find it.